I, actually, it just hit me because you said uh, David Allen Coe. Just as a personal question, um, how did your that that album that you guys did? Uh, Rebel meets Rebel. Uh, yeah, how did you how did you end up doing? It's that? really crazy, you know. Like I said, me and my brother used to hear it. It was like my mom's favorite country artist back in the day. And, uh, my brother went over in 1999 to see David Allen Coe play in uh, a place called uh, Billy Bob's in Fort Worth. Okay. And, uh, you know, we always take our Pantera CDs and DVDs and stuff with us and want to pass them off to people. And Dime actually stand, stood in the line to meet David Allen, the meet and greet line. He stood in line with about 100 people and he was at the end of the line. And he got up to David and he goes, hey man, I know you don't know who I am or anything, but I'm playing this band from Pantera, you know, and love your music. I wanted to give you a DVD and this, that, and the other, you know. And, uh, maybe we can get together and write some songs sometime, you know, and Dime gave him his phone number. Next day, about eight o'clock in the morning, Dime said his phone rang and it was this country dude on the phone. And he goes, "Hey man, it's David Allen Coe, man." And I was like, "David Allen Coe, eight o'clock in the morning, what's going on?" I, I, I would not think he'd be up at eight o'clock <laughs> yeah, in the morning. Yeah. And he's like, "Man, I just watched this DVD you gave me, man. And you guys are like the fucking Beatles of fucking 1999, man. When you want to get together and start writing some songs?" Yeah, you know, I mean, it was like that's basically how it happened. You yeah, know? So, awesome. He came into town, and every time he would come to town, we would write three or four songs with him. And this happened like four times. By that, by that time, we had enough stuff for a record, and uh, we finished it. And at that time, we were doing Damage Plan, and you know the fans were really uh, confused as to what happened with Pantera and this and that and the other. And we really didn't want to confuse them any further, so we kind of put it on the shelf. And then after the horrible thing that happened to my brother, uh, you know, it took me about eight months to get my life together. And the first thing that came to me is, man, I was really proud of that album. I gotta get it out for him, you know, it's really important to me. So I put it out, started my own label, put it out, and that's, uh, it did really well, man. Really yeah, well. I love that record. Yeah, yeah, yeah honestly, it was the it. first yeah. true collaboration of a heavy metal outlaw band and a country outlaw together. You know, some people had dabbled in it with a single and this and you know, but that was the first full length record, you know. Uh, and, awesome. and like, country music influencing metal right now is so popular. Yeah. Right? It's such a, a blend. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, there's a deck and crossover. Man. As a drummer, Thank you. Um, and, and from a drummer's perspective, you've, you've played so much music in your career at this point. You've written so much music. Is there anything from early in your career, and I'm even saying Pantera Metal Man, like anything that you, any drum part that you miss, any drum part that you miss playing, like, no, like no. at all? No, it's no just, I, I love them all. You know, they've all awesome. been created. They're all part of what I do, but my focus is solely on how you if you live in the past, you have no future. You know, now I've done all that. I'm doing something else now, and I'm really happy. With that. That's awesome. Um, I remember Pantera coming to this area, the upstate New York area, a bunch. You guys used to tour Biohazard. Um, I also remember, uh, personally for me, um, Ozfest 2000, you played Saratoga. I actually, as a kid, uh, with my buddies of mine, you were drinking at a bar in Saratoga. We met you. You were the nicest person ever. You signed a bunch of stuff for us. It was like the dream come true. Um, uh, do you have any memories of playing this area at all? I know you've been all over the uh, world, I mean, but you know we always like, look forward to playing in New York. You know, it yeah. always seemed like the audiences up here seem to be a little bit more hardcore, so to speak. Yeah. Uh, some of the best pits in the world have always been up here, and uh, we always look forward to getting to the East Coast. The East Coast and the Midwest are really the home of heavy metal in, in the United States, and they're great to play. Yeah, awesome. Uh, okay, so uh, last question, and um, I just want to say that. I've read some recent press that you've done. I completely agree with everything that you said about when you're asked about opinions sure. and stuff like that because it can. And um, I speak for all Pantera fans that you know it's not just a 10th anniversary of a tragedy. It's we. It's it's all fans thinking of you and your brother and your family every day. Sure. Um, uh, but m the proper question I feel that I haven't seen anyone ask you is, um, would you ever consider? playing with Phil and Rex again in a, in a memorial capacity, not as, hey, Pantera, the reunion, but as a, you know, as a tribute, as, right, a, right. as a, that Wouldn't kind of thing. Would you be interested in having sex with your ex-wife? Great answer. <laughs> Great answer. That's I an mean, awesome answer. Awesome. Awesome. No, 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 no. no, and that's what I wanted. And that, that's, because I just, I, I hear it so much in the press of them asking the reunion, and you've said it to death, and I, I, that's all I wanted to ask was just that, that was that then, and this is now, man. You know, exactly. We had 14 great years together, and exactly. it's time for all of us to move on. Exactly. Um, yeah. I want to tell you, uh, just personally speaking, um, that same Ozfest show after, uh, that was the night before that you were drinking down at a bar in, in Saratoga, and it was so nice to me and my friends, and we, we, you know, we, we ran home, got a bunch of stuff, you signed it all for us, and 
we were on cloud nine and we walk up to the top of Broadway like with the main drag in Saratoga and I'm just, oh my god, I met Vinny Paul and I see that guy walking up and nobody was paying attention to him. It's just Saratoga, nobody's paying attention to him and I've met, you know, rock stars and stuff like you and I hope to, you know, be okay with it and he walked right up to me and I stopped in the middle of the road and went, oh my god, that's Dimebag Daryl. And without even missing a beat, he patted me on the shoulder and said, damn right I am, brother, and walked away. And it's just one of the best memories I have, like awesome. meeting the two of you. So like, I'm, this means a lot to be able to do this and, and talk with you. And I'm so glad that you took the time. Sure, man. Thank you.